uh, in a game the New York Jets defensive end was against the uh, Kansas City Chiefs partially paralyzed. Encouraging news the last couple of days. Surgery Wednesday, he has voluntary movement in both of his big toes and yesterday in his knee. That was good news. Before the Jets game in Buffalo today, owner Leon Hess, who rarely goes into the locker room, addressed the team beforehand, said he had talked with Bird before the game, that Bird would be watching from his New York hospital bed and uh, wanted very much that the Jets do well and play hard. Well, there was no question that the Jets played with tons of emotion today in Buffalo against the Bills. A moment of silence uh, before the game, too, as 80,000 folks prayed for his recovery. There you see the ictus and the number 90. The Bills wore on their helmets, too. The fans thinking of Dennis Bird. The game, 3-3, first half. Kelly to Thurman Thomas, 21 yards. Kelly to James Lofton, first down. And Kenneth Davis. First down, that's Metzelars, then Kenneth Davis, it's a front ball! Lonnie Young knocks it loose, but they rule it's a touchdown first, and Buffalo, in their longest drive, at least for time, seven and a half minutes, 7.32, the Bills lead it 10 to three. Steve Christie tried a 35-yard field goal, but the snap can't be handled by Frank Wright, incomplete, so maybe things turning the Jets' way. Browning Nagel starts the drive. Looks smooth here. Look at the gun to Rob Moore at the goal line. Tommy Watt, uniform violation. I know a lot about it. Had a few. Can't wear a cone hanging from your left shoulder pad. Second and goal. Brad Baxter rustles his way into the end zone. We're tied at 10. Bills on third and one. And a Davis fumble. Lonnie Young, ever present, picks up the football number 31. Bruce Smith tries to line it up the Bills defense. Third and 17. Pat Chapin. Long run. Just short of the first down. Fourth and two. The pass on the right flank to Rob Moore for a first down. Nagel to the former Bill Chris Burkett for a first down. Brad Baxter ran for 98 yards today. Into the end zone. Is it in? Yes! Yes! It is a touchdown. 17 Jets. The Coslet Jets lead. You want to talk about athletic ability? Look at Browning Nagel fire and complete to Mark Boyer. You have the feeling on this play who's going to be a Jets day. Brian Washington, extra effort to make a tackle, out of bounds, cost a penalty. Second and goal, Kelly to Pete Metzelars, we're tied at 17. Two-minute warning, Bills first and 10, tie game. Kelly in the wind, almost picked off by Mike Brim. Tommy, you said at the time, he looked tentative, thrown in the wind, and Brian Washington picks it off. The defense doing it for the Jets. 23 yards, it's 24-17. You look at the replay here, you can see Kelly never seen Brian Washington. He makes the nice catch. Kelly comes over to try to keep him out of the end zone, and that's no contest. So the defense has given the Jets a 24-17 lead. Minute 20 to go. Remember Kelly on a Monday night for the Bills like against the Jets. But defense again, Bill Pickell with the hit. The recovery. The Jets celebrate. And afterward, both Jets and Bills prayed on the field. And a certainly emotion-filled afternoon at Rich Stadium. The Jets, for the first time in 11 tries, beat the Buffalo Bills 24-17. Afterwards, the Jet thoughts obviously were with their fallen teammate Dennis Bird. Instead of just going out and just playing regular football and everybody playing for themselves, they had something in their hearts to play for. You know what I'm saying? It was something deep inside. It wasn't. They weren't playing for money. They weren't playing for uh, the individual stats. They were just playing D Bird. You know, it was all. It was a. It was a. It was a inside feeling for D Bird. Oh, he was definitely on our mind. He's. Uh, uh, he's our family, and he keeps always be part of our family. So, uh, you know, we had a logo, and we had a spirit that's, that's always be with us, and he could be with us soon again, too. We have Dennis Bird on the phone in there, and all the players are talking to him, and uh, <clears throat> goes without saying that he got the game ball. Uh, uh, we thought it should be that way, and we thought that was the right thing to do. No question about it. And I tell you what we said at the beginning of the show, Tommy, kind of a, a win for the human race here by the Jets. Uh, Hey, you were there all week. You were there in midweek and toward the end of the week of the Jets. You, you had a sense toward the end of the week how they would show up today, didn't you? Well, Chris, as it got toward Friday, you could sense that they were trying to, uh, that they were beginning to pull together, that they were beginning to emotionally focus on Sunday afternoon. I had no doubt at all that they would play 
hard. I know that they would. I knew that they would also have to translate that hard play into mistake-proof play. That they'd have to play a good game. Today they forced four, four turnovers by the Buffalo Bills. They only had one. So all of that emotion, they just directed it right at the Buffalo Bills and came out with a win. Well, I, I find it fitting that it was the defense of one of the two units that won. It was the defense that won. I remember the day after the game after the Mike Utley's. Uh, uh, it, it, tragic falling for Detroit. Barry Sanders had 200 yards. It was the offensive line did the great job. The defense and Piquel, the front wall. I mean, it was really fitting. And I'm sure the Jets, uh, uh, Dennis Bird, they made their teammate Dennis Bird very happy tonight. All right. Uh, we, let's go inside the numbers here. And Taylor's not very happy is the Buffalo Bills, who in consecutive weeks have lost to the Colts, to the Jets. They've fallen out of uh, home field advantage for the playoffs. And when they lose,